Hi, it's time for Good Energy and I'm Dr. Julie and welcome to Body Full Day 181. We're talking about work in the senses. This is day seven of work in the senses and we're talking about the sense of smell. All right, so let's get into the basics. Let's start with our deep breaths in. Deep breath in, here we go. And release. If you're new to body full, when we take a deep breath in, that second one, we think about expanding in our belly, expanding in our chest, and expanding in our cranials, because we want to actually expand how our head moves. And then after we do all of that, there should be just this light tuck of your tailbone, because everything is expanded and the tailbone does want to tuck under. So let's take that big breath in, expand, 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 and tuck. Here we go. And release. Now think about any garbage you got going on, any stress from the day, any experiences from the day, any sore aches and pains in the body. And this next breath, you're gonna breathe right into them. Take a deep breath in. And release. All right, I'm gonna shift it just a little. Okay. So today we're talking about the sense of smell. Now, we're at work. So there is this, you know, work is one place and home is another. And there are lovely things that you can smell at home that you cannot necessarily bring into work. So remember, our goal through all of this is to say energy to heal, energy to do your work, energy to have energy after work equals good energy and minus stressors. And work has stressors. Even if work isn't the most stressful thing you experience, work has stressors. So our goal is to make sure that those that we get enough good energy in through our senses that reduces the effect of that stressors of those stressors, which means you have more energy at the end of the day to get other things done or to even say heal. All right. So uh, we've been talking about all the senses, vestibular, sight, touch, kinesthetic, taste, and hearing. But today we're talking about smell. And we talked about yesterday about kinesthetic being one of those you don't actually wanna, you know, I'll be doing getting down and doing push-ups. But there are subtle kinesthetic things that you can do, body changes that you can do, that you can get energy that are simple just by tossing a ball or squishing a ball or something that involves the muscles and the joints. Now the sense of smell, we can't, we can't really bring um, our favorite essential oils in. We can. Um, there are necklaces and and bracelets that have that are made out of lava or uh, made out of volcanic stone, volcanic rock that you can put a drop into and then they heat up with your body, and so they are personally your um, diffusers. But you really can't bring a diffuser and set it on your desk because what you think is a good smell, even. Even if we knew across the board that peppermint was the best smell for everybody, or that we knew across the board peppermint is an awesome smell. The problem is that what is good energy in for you is not good energy in for the next person. And so I am a very adamant person when it comes to making sure that everybody's energy is good as it can be. And if you bring in, say, I've got some cypress oil, if you bring in some cypress oil and somebody has a pine allergy, you've just totally knackered their day. Um, I also have some rosemary. Again, rosemary is very good for the lungs, very good for the brain, very good for alertness. But there are people out there that don't like the smell of rosemary. So you putting a diffuser or putting a couple of drops on your hand and rubbing them on your neck, um, which I don't recommend because it's not good to put straight oils on you unless you know what you're doing, uh, can really bother the person next to you. So unless you have access to the volcanic rock bracelets that diffuse, do base, that diffuse because of your heat or the, the volcanic rock necklaces that do the same thing, I wouldn't take essential oils with me to work. Now, 
that means we're left with, well, what other sense can you do? Um, and here we're gonna, we're gonna pick on the sense of taste here. Um, you can bring tastes in and just say, this is my lunch or this is my cup of tea. So when we get back, when we got back to the sense of taste, we talked about sparking like immediate powerful sense, like Altoids and um, Red Hots and things that just have a, just immediate zap of energy. With smell, we don't really want to zap, which is why, of course, I say don't bring essential oils into work unless everybody else has agreed that essential oils are okay. Um, but what you can do is you can bring in your favorite drink because your sense of taste is primarily based on your sense of smell. So you can bring in, this happens to be a mint, uh, mint uh, herbal mint uh, tonic base with some lime and ice and a big ice cube. So this is my non-alcoholic mojito. And the lovely thing is, is that I can get the sense of smell. I can smell the mint and I can taste the mint, which then gives me that energetic component of mint while I'm at the office. Now I also put lime in here. So I've got again, the smell of the citrusy lime. Um, you can do that with your, you can do that with your teas. Um, I am very big on the fresh juices. So that is a half a, half a lime squeezed in there. Um, so having some limes, oranges, lemons around and squeezing them into your tea. Again, great zip, great additional energy, and also good smell because you can then smell the rinds. You could leave the rinds on your desk and they're not going to be a power, they're not going to be the condensed power that, um, that an essential oil is. So in order to kind of bypass the sense of smell, bring it in through your food, which isn't absolutely going to knacker everybody in the office, but can be just a little bit of boost for you and possibly, as long as everybody else is okay, a little bit of boost for everybody else around you. Other ways of getting sense of smell into work, of course, would be to make sure that you are near a window that you can open so that you can get the smell of the outside air in. And also, if you are just going out for your kinesthetic stroll, also, obviously, while you're outside, you can smell the air while you're there. Um, these are just ways to incorporate it in without annoying your coworkers, or if you work in a restaurant without annoying the smell of the food while people are trying to eat. All right. So this concludes our session this week on work in the census. That doesn't mean I'm not going to include work in the census later, but um, yeah, this is work in the census. Join me on Monday when we start a new session. Haven't quite figured out when that one is yet, but we'll figure it out tomorrow and you'll meet me here and we'll start back into it. What can we do to get good energy in to whatever condition, topic, emotion that we're working on through the senses? All right. Have a wonderful Sunday, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Let's finish it off. Take a deep breath in. And release. See you tomorrow.